9.5 p.m., 9.30 p.m. on the 9th of February, 1913, there suddenly appeared in the northwestern sky a fiery red body, which quickly grew larger as it came nearer, and which was then seen to be followed by a long tail. To some observers, the tail seemed like the glare from an op the open door of a furnace. To others, it was like the illumination from a searchlight. To others, like the stream of sparks blown away from a burning chimney by a strong wind. The body moved on a perfectly horizontal path with peculiar, majestic, dignified deliberation. And continuing its course, it moved on to the southeast where it disappeared in the distance. Before the astonishment aroused by this first meteor had subsided, other bodies were seen coming from the northwest, emerging from precisely the same place as the first one. Onward they moved, at the same deliberate pace in twos and threes, with tails streaming behind. They all traversed the same path and headed for the same point in the southeast. Gradually, the bodies became smaller until the last ones were but red sparks, some of which were snuffed out before they reached their destination. As to the number of bodies, there was a great diversity of statement. In the present case, persons dwelling 2,500 miles apart saw the same bodies. Moreover, the descriptions furnished by observers in Bermuda in Ontario and in Saskatchewan do not materially differ.